I'm going to show you how to make jogless stripes in the round. I'm going to go ahead and add a new color. This will be the beginning of my stripes. So I'm going to just make a loose loop. I'm going to add that to peg number one, which I've marked with this red marker here so I can tell which one is which. I'm going to drop that tail down into the middle of the loom. And then I'm going to go ahead and knit around in my new color. We've knit up to our last peg. And what we're going to do is take the new stitch off of the first peg, move it over to the last peg, from peg one to the last one, and we're going to put the old stitch back up onto the first peg. So on the last peg we have the old color, we have the stitch from the first peg, and we have the old stitch back up on the first peg. And we're going to go ahead and knit these two together. This first round is kind of tricky because it's the new color being added in there. We're going to catch the pink underneath so it's caught inside. And we're going to go ahead and continue our rounds and knit as usual. So I'm going to do two rounds in the green. Okay, I've knit back to the last peg on my last row of the green. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to the pink. I'm going to take the green color, rest it over the top of the pink. So you can see how it goes over the top and then the pink comes up. That's going to help catch that green color in the pink stitches. So we don't have a hole where we change color. And I'm going to go ahead and knit one round in pink stopping before the last peg. So stopping on the second to last peg. And I've knit back to the second to last peg. Here's the last one. I'm going to bring the stitch up off of the first peg. And I'm going to grab hold of the stitch behind it without letting go of the first one. I'm going to pull the first one over to the last peg and then put the last stitch from our green peg, from our green row, on the first peg. So now we have two here and a green one here. And I'm going to continue to knit in the pink, knitting those two together and knitting my second round of pink. And then continue for however many rounds the pink color calls for. Okay, I've finished my three rounds of the pink. And one thing that might be kind of helpful, since we'll be bringing this stitch back up after our, our first round of green, is to go ahead and put a stitch marker on that stitch. That might help us to grab hold of it when it's time to pull it back up. So we're going to bring the green color back up and we're going to catch the pink color on top. So just lay the pink color across the back, bring the green up, and we'll go ahead and knit in the green, letting that stitch marker fall behind so that it captures that stitch for us. That will make it helpful. And we're going to knit back to the second to last peg. Here we've knit to the second to last peg. So again, what we're going to do is bring our stitch from the first peg over to the last, put it above our old color. So there's two stitches on the last peg. Then we're going to go back here and grab our last stitch that was on this peg, and we've stitch marked it. So we can just easily grab hold of that stitch with our hook 
and pull it up over our first peg. You know it's right because it has the stitch marker floating around on it. You can remove the stitch marker. And we'll go ahead and knit that last peg with the two together and continue knitting the green color. I'm doing rows of three, so I have two more rounds of green to knit. I finished knitting my last round in green, it's my third round. I'll be starting with pink again. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the pink up over the green. So here's the green ending. The pink is coming up underneath it to catch that green. I'm going to knit one round of pink till I get to the second to last peg. We do this every time we change the color. So I've knit my first round of pink ending at the second to last peg. So I'm going to pull this one up and I forgot to put a stitch marker on this round. So I'm going to go, go ahead and pull this one up. And to find that stitch, if you forget to do it, it's just right behind. So you look down in there and you can see this first green bump. That's the first green stitch. So you want to just grab hold of that and pull it back up over the peg. And we want to go ahead and continue knitting off. This will be our second round of pink. And this is in stockinette. Here's my first one, my first round, and my last one. And you can see that they butt up almost perfectly. So here's the first one and the last one. Now we're going to switch colors. Uh, we've done our three rows of pink. And now we're going to switch to green. And when we're doing color changes, a, a little trick, if you don't like the little blips that you sometimes see, is to just do the first row in knit. So instead of knit, purl, knit, purl, I'm just going to do my first green row in all knit around the loom. Here's the last stitch of our green color. We're going to go down in here, look for the last stitch of pink. You can see it's right there. There we go. Take the leg of that stitch, bring it up, twist it. and put it back on the peg. Like that. Then we continue by knitting those two together. Get that little tail out of the way. And you can knit them off one at a time, which is how I usually like to do it. And then continue the pattern. Be knit, purl, knit, purl. And we do this for two more rounds. So we're going to end the green and we're just going to lay it across the back of the pegs. We're going to pull our pink color up bring it over the top of that tail to start knitting with the pink. And since we're starting a new color, we're just going to knit the first round instead of knit one purl one. I'm finishing that round of knit in the new pink color. And now 
I'm going to do the same technique that I've done before. Go down inside, find the old color, stitch, pull it up, give it a twist, and put it back on that peg, that first peg. It's always tricky, and especially when you're sitting behind a camera to do this without bumping the camera. There we go. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and take that, knit two together. And then do our two rows of rib. So we knitted, knit one, purl, knit, purl, knit for two more rows in the pink. Here's my first stitch and my last one. 